Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hi, and welcome back. So, we see here, power failure at Natan's accident? Hmm, or something else. Seems very suspicious. There are so many suspicious things in this world. And, you know, perhaps we're at a point in time uh, when we're not really allowed to have suspicions anymore of things, you know, because certain labels could be used. Uh, but we see it all depends on your point of view, right? This is out of Depka. Uh, and from their point of view, they're saying the Iranians will certainly be looking for the obvious suspects, the U.S., Israel, or both, to blame for the incident. At a N-U-C-L-E-A-R site. And, you know, this is a, a power grid failure. Mm -hmm. And we see out from RT a little bit of a different point of view as Iran reports that it was some sort of attack, of course. Is it? Is there really a covert, a covert I should say, covert WAR underway? I don't know. You know, it just seems like so many things don't make any sense these days. No, there's a lot of things that don't make any sense. And, and now, you, you know, when you say it like that, it makes me want to jump to the two topics ahead. Mm -hmm. But first, let's go over here and we see a mysterious fire burn down a military base in Donetsk. And something tells me we're going to be hearing that word a lot, Donetsk. It's it's a place over in the U. Ukraine. <laughs> Gosh, who was it? That, oh, I think it was our brother Knowledge 2020 was doing such a beautiful job uh, of making words. covertly making words. You know, we need to come up with a new language in these days because we are, you know, I mean, gosh, that makes me think of the Tower of Babel. Mm -hmm. It does. It does. This is like, come, let us go down there. Let us disrupt them. Let us scatter them about. Look, you can't have people, you know, you can't have people coming together. You can't have people organized. You can't have people thinking for themselves. And you certainly can't have them working together. Oh, definitely not. No, we got to stop that because, I mean, we might be able to pull ourselves up and out of this if we work together. Yeah, as as it says in that Tower of Babel incident, you know, who knows what, what they could do? Maybe it, it should just come straight out and say, who knows what good they could do? Who knows what problems they could solve if, you know, they are not interfered with, if they are not kept uh, being divided and being brought against each other in manipulated fashion. Very, very Machiavellian again. So it just tells me that um, there is a reason why they feel intimidated by us. And I just, I just don't understand how anybody can read that verse and not pick up on what's being said there. It's just so out there. It's just so obvious. But, you know, you will get apologeticists trying to rationalize it and, and saying, well, you know, it's it's pride, it's ego. And, and, you know, that's what it was. They were all working together for the betterment of all because they're all egotistical, you know. I can't have them thinking they're gods or anything or, you know, uh, you know. Can't, we can't have them thinking good about themselves. I know. They might take over our position. They might be like one of us. Yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> can't have that. <laughs> can't have them figuring out what's going on here. So April 10th, a fire in the building of a former Donetsk meat, plant, meat processing plant broke out. Explosions were reportedly heard in the territory of the plant. The fire was localized after midnight on April 11th. Almost 100 people participated in extinguishing it. On April 11th, more detailed information about the fire was revealed. An officer of the Russian Special Services and former DPR warlord uh, Igor Strelkov Gherkin on his pages on social networks uh, confirmed that a military base was located at the site of the fire. So things are not always as they should appear. And so the thing I wanted to jump over to is this. As you see, uh, JB requesting a $753 billion defense budget, a slate increase. So, you know, the perception that, you know, the only the right spends money on the military is incorrect. 
Um, it, it's just not the case because again, these these industries, there's, there's two industries in particular that are so incredibly powerful that, you know, we're not really supposed to say anything about it, you know? We can't talk about one at all. We can talk about, you know, military spending a little bit still at this time, you know, thankfully. But here you go. This is an increase. And, you know, from the last administration, we had gotten, like, the biggest increase like ever and the biggest budget ever by a mile and it's getting bigger not smaller bigger mm -hmm. absolutely and it, it's things aren't changing they're not getting any different yeah as you see here unacceptable heavy pressure from within his own party after requesting huge 17 uh, 715 of that 753 is going to the pentagon you know, the Pentagon. And from this angle, if we were to draw a five-pointed star looking at the picture here, it would be inverted. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I've, I've driven by this area, um, unfortunately, quite a few times. Always makes me sick. Uh, the energy, and I don't know how people could live in, in this area or even close to this area, truthfully. The energy is so draconian draconian and so heavy um i couldn't take it, it you know it, it made me made my skin crawl just you know driving on the highways going through just passing through made my skin crawl 753 billion dollars right to keep us occupied fighting against each other when we see all the natural disasters we see all the crop loss we see you know over in uh china half the half the swine <laughs> were culled last year, right? We've seen so many mass cullings. We've seen the blows to the food supply, one after another after another. And then we've talked about the incredible wealth disparity that is growing at such a rapid pace. With You're going to have, like over in, in Yemen, and it's been a while since I mentioned it, you have millions of people tens of millions of people starving or in danger of starving yeah it's pretty obvious the system of this world is totally upside down and ass backwards oh my gosh it is and you know we look at things and look at how they're doing things and they never change their ways and they say they see this things that are not working and it just doesn't matter because there's an agenda behind stuff they don't want it to work yeah, that's the bottom line. And, you know, while while we're still able to, it's like we have to try to wake people up. How is this acceptable? How is this acceptable when we're going to be facing food shortages and famine? And yet the money is going, the energy. And again, money is energy. For one, it's just um, disgusting to have this there's like 2,600 and something billionaires in this country, not in this country, in this world, um, just holding on to so much energy because money is energy that could be used to solve problems and actually save lives. That's such a karmic backlash on their souls. Uh, and I, I guess they, apparently they don't understand it. Uh, and, you know, it, it's just it's just atrocious. When we see what can be done, because I don't think it's inevitable that we have to have anybody, you know, starve to death on this planet at all. But there's no will. There needs to be a will. And, you know, I've talked about this man many, many times. And uh, this 80, well, he's probably close to 90 now. This is from the Good News Network. Um, but there's many articles about him. He's up in Nebraska and he grows citrus even in the snow with his geothermal greenhouse, which cost him $22,000 to build. $22,000, right? And it cost him less than a, a dollar a day energy-wise. It's, it's like 75 cents a day energy-wise to keep these plants thriving year-round. $22,000. 
if you took one year of that $753 billion defense budget and said, you know what, we're going to build these things all over wherever there's empty, empty ground. Well, we could build in one year 34,227,272 of them. Mm-hmm. And then, gosh, you would, wouldn't have anybody hungry. You wouldn't have anybody wanting or needing. 34 million of these greenhouses could be built in one year's time. And that's just with the United States budget. So why aren't the politicians thinking out of the box? Why is nobody saying, you know, hey, why don't we do what this guy does? You know, there, there shouldn't, we don't have to worry about, you know, these quote unquote earth changes, these quote unquote natural disasters. And, you know, like I did a video on the gods of war and I put gods in parentheses and somebody said, they're not gods. Well, no kidding. That's why we put it in parentheses. Parentheses is, is like saying something is, um, you know, there's something wrong here. Well, yeah. You know, <laughs> I mean, no kidding. Quote the gods. <laughs> yep. No, it's the same thing when we're talking about the gods of war. And um, again, everything is upside down. There's no reason to fear. There's really no reason to fear the grand solar minimum. You know, we, we could overcome it if we wanted it to. You know, they could build domes that would withstand 300 mile an hour winds on a massive scale, building them down into the ground with all the money that they spend going into these defense budgets globally, all the money that's just locked up in the hands of 2,600 billionaires across the planet. There's no reason for anybody to ever die of starvation. No, absolutely not. And it's it's a it's about the agenda. It's about why they do what they do and you know they have all the money in the world but now they want more than that they want the control too the 99.995 percent of uh, the average people of this planet need to say you know what leadership of the world you have absolutely failed miserably Mm -hmm. and it's time we try something different i know they just have so many people in such predicaments it makes it very difficult to just say stick it but someday we are going to be desperate enough we are going to be in such a predicament that it it won't matter we won't have anything to lose and we will say stick it yeah and you know by the way um there was two articles i was reading this morning that i didn't bring up i just i think it's a good time to bring it up uh one of them was sent by um our friend david in the uk who we love tremendously hello david and david is a perfect example of this this gentleman in a flat in the city is growing like 90 percent of his food in a flat i mean he's got stuff growing out of pots and pans and hanging from rafters and uh so he's 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 going to be able to be in an urban environment and still feed himself just fine and he's got exotic uh foods there too and fruits and things growing in in the uk inside his apartment uh where there's a will there's a way but he sent uh, an article about an army of robotic dogs very similar to what we have seen come out of boston dynamics uh, over in china and then there was also another article i was reading about russia and how you know they're sending over to the ukraine a whole bunch of well a division like a, a t- completely robotic and tanks you know no men inside them things like that armored artillery vehicles there's no humans inside there that's the next step that's the next step because when people wake up and say i'm not gonna go and you know serve in this or serve in that because i see what's going on well you know the next step is to have it basically terminator style where you don't have to rely on any humans to do anything and that's where we are heading in the not too distant future Right. You know, I mean, things are just becoming more and more obvious and it's time to open our eyes and push back. $22,000, a a greenhouse there that could feed almost a small town. Mm -hmm. How about 34 million of those in one year's time? There's no reason for this. There's no reason for what we see. There isn't. We have to keep waking people up. Please do share this. Share this, guys. 
This is what we need to do is to share and awaken. Mm, absolutely. Absolutely. And Cindy's going to give us a ding. So may humanity wake up, may the oppressive dark veil, the dark shroud of (laughs) darkness itself that has covered this beautiful blue orb be removed and may freedom truly reign for every single individual on this planet. Yes, let's go out with, with that prayer and that request and hold that vibration ongoing. God bless and namaste. God bless and namaste.